Hey guys, Steve here. Quick update. Here's a comparison of the two types of PZ3 uh, versions M and N's I've been building. Uh, of course, I had the video about the Plastic Soldier Company and talking about the other PZ3 from Atelieri that I was building. This is the Atelieri. It's going to be the subject of a slideshow type video showing you from start to finish. Uh, but I just wanted to put these two right now on equal footing so you can take a look at them. Uh, once again, PZ3 by Atelieri. Pain in the butt to put together, but it is kind of pretty. Uh, the treads have individual track pieces around uh, both the front and rear um, drive wheels. The side skirts were a pain in the butt to put together. You had to set them up and let them dry. It took about a good part of the day to get this kit going. Um, not a bad little kit, though. It doesn't feel that sturdy. I'm a little bit worried about playing with it. I'll put it on a base and hopefully move the base around. Picking up on the side skirts and moving the turret seems kind of fragile. Uh, we have a commander who's sleeping right there, uh, looking backwards. So not a bad little kit. It does come with decals. It has three different types of uh, paint schemes that you could use. Camouflage, I should say. Uh, this is a curse scheme right here, very popular. Uh, then again, here's the outside of the box and the instructions. So this is a true modeler's model. Uh, as all these Ravel Atelieri tanks go. Of course, the Challenger, the new kid on the block, Plastic Soldier Company. I love these guys. Where this took about a day to build, this took about 20 minutes. Very solid, very, very nice. Uh, different variants from the L, the M, the N, the Flame Panther, Panzer. Just a beautiful little kit. Very, very chunky. A little thicker than the other, as you can tell. But still, very, very nice. Side skirts just went on like nobody's business. Very solid. I can pick it up and not worry about it. Uh, this one will have the commander also glued in once I paint him up. So you get two, you get three of these in a box, and they run you about seven fifty to eight dollars a piece, depending on where you get it. If you can still find this one, they run you about twelve to fourteen dollars a piece. Not a bad kit. Really, really nice kit. This really allows you to uh, stowage it up and have fun with it, make it dirty, make it like you want to. Well, I guess they both do. The Plastic Soldier Company doesn't come with any decals, so you're going to have to find those, and I know that they sell them separately. Uh, so, right there is PZ3M from Plastic Soldier Company and Atelier. Two great little kits. Hopefully, I'll have these painted up this week, and I'll get the platoon of Plastic Soldier Companies painted up and this one, and show you the final product. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.